to do a perpendicular through the point P when P is not on the line. This construction's kind of unique, I think, um, but we'll show you kind of why it works. From point P, I'm going to stretch my compass so that it intersects twice. So what that creates are two points of intersection on the actual line that are the same distance away from P. If we leave our compass the same physical length and do an arc from B and from A, what we create is a duplicate of P, but on the opposite side. Because we didn't change our compass lengths, we created the exact same uh, P, P prime, on the opposite side. When you connect those two, P and P prime, you get perpendicular line. Now that might seem a little bit like magical hocus pocus. But again, what's happening here is in behind the scenes, by not changing our compass, we had a radius here that's the same as a radius here. By not changing our compass on the other side, we got another radius and another one. And we create this beautiful rhombus-like shape in behind the scenes. We don't normally draw in these lines, but one of the properties of a rhombus is that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Another cool little trick.